and YouTube. Guys, we made it. It is <clears throat> Friday. It is Friday. Which means lots of pizza, <laughs> garlic knots, chips, and salad. I've got all my greens. I'm very excited. I, you know, I even told Kaki, I'm like, let's just cook and eat right away. I didn't want to make a compl complicated video tonight. I just wanted to get this out of the oven, which it's going to have to go back in. Because I want to eat hot pizza. You can eat. I just want to get these down. And then if you, if you. Okay. <laughs> you could eat. I'm just saying when I'm the pizza like. Should, the pizza is still hot. Yeah, I know, but it's not going to be like piping hot. And that's what I'm looking for. Hey, Paisley. Hello, Annette. Happy Friday, guys. Hello, Paisley. Hello, Annette. How are you, ladies? Put it in the oven while you drink your juices. That's up to Kaggy. Are you okay with doing that? Go ahead. I'll okay. just eat my salad. Okay, that works. Some garlic nuts. Bring the garlic nuts up at front and center. Yes, master. <laughs> there we go. And I have a salad. This is a perfect opportunity for you to eat your salad. Who, me? Yeah. I'm going to be drinking my juices. I've got plans for the salad. I'm going to put the salads on the pizza like I usually do. So... I just wonder, I don't know, you know what, I, I, I think I think of pizza so much. Hello, one and only. And I think, Hello, Strawberry. And I think so highly of it Hello, that I don't, I don't want to mess it up, you know? Got to get these buttons out of the way. <clears throat> there we go. <laughs> Did you guys go Black Friday shopping? No. No. Mm -mm. We had to go to work. <laughs> we did not Black Friday shop. I am looking forward to Cyber Monday. Yeah. Cyber Monday? Mm-hmm. What do you have in mind to buying? Um, I know a couple of the gifts that the kids want, so. Oh, for the kids you mean? Yeah. I'm not going to hey, freaking look, sit love there all wait just deal. till the last minute. <laughs> Me too. So is even is Black Friday even a thing? They don't even do the the early shopping, right? That um, that stopped. They used to. I don't know if they still do it. I used to do Black Friday shopping years ago, like with my mom, where they would do like the doorbusters and things like that. Like you have to be like the first, like however many people in the store you would get, like yeah. But once whatever. the once the tramplings started, they they kiboshed that, right? That's like not a thing anymore. Yeah, I don't think it Chug is. It. Oh, I'm going to. I got yeah, two more. Yeah, I don't think it is anymore. I think they changed it. I guess cyber once Cyber Monday came in, it kind of did away with the stores. And plus, with the pandemic, it probably makes more sense for everything to just be done on computers. Boss, I wouldn't say I'm a boss. Is this X Pack? <laughs> what? Is this X Pack? Kaki, you're half cut off. I'll fix it. I'm sorry. Thank you, Wheel, for letting us know. The beautiful Kaki's got to be in it fully. Yeah, I don't think they do that anymore. Maybe Best Buy still does it. What's up, John? Good evening, New York. Good evening, good evening. Hello, John. I want to let you guys know that I have every intention on Hello, doing... Hello, Roger. I have every intention on doing pizza again tomorrow night. <laughs> but it's going to be from a different spot. I think, I think I'm going to go with more of a old world. I think it's called... I think it's cold world. <clears throat> from a special little spot. It's um, it's not a big place, but it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, hidden Aww, thank in you, the Annette. back with lots of flowers. I am. Thank you, girl. I'm Appreciate a book that. author. You are. Do you read? No. Khaki reads. I don't. Hello, Noreen. I read. I have not read a book since our children have been born. So, Kaki used to be that girl that would read uh, when it was time for bed. I would I would sit there and just read book. I, w I would get like so into a book where I would just read and read and read and read. Um, that has not happened since I had children, unfortunately, because I don't have time like that. All right. I don't want to burn you. I used to be going to sleep watching, <laughs> watching whatever it was. Does your wife pay for everything? What? <laughs> I'm a working man. Who, I pay for some things, but Jimmy pays for most things. I pay the bills. 
You don't think I, I you don't think I dance for nothing, right? <laughs> Who asked that? And how did they ask? Because I didn't see the comment. Every, uh, everybody thinks I'm a it homebody. It was Omar Gauze. Does your wife pay for everything? I mean, I don't pay for everything. I pay for some things. Not Kaki, everything. Jackie buys me a lot of stuff online. Did you guys make the pizza? No. Mm -mm. Ooh. No. <laughs> I even told Jackie <laughs> to bring you some. you do that? No. Is that, the, is that the perception I give out that my wife buys me everything? I just, hey, I want this. She goes and buys it. I got news for you. Most of the stuff that I have is custom built. I made it my own. Sicilian pizza today. Nice. I love Sicilian. Oh, I don't really love Sicilian pizza, but the last one that we had was really good. Maybe they're under the assumption that it's hard for a criminal to get a job. <laughs> I'm not well, a criminal anymore. I technically didn't even do what I got accused Paisley. for. That's a good. That's a good comeback, girl. It's very good, but you know what? Like I said, technically. I didn't even do. I mean, I'm married to a criminal. What do you want me to do? Oh, you know, I'm not a criminal. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl. Happy Friday, friends. Love your running video today. Oh, thank you, Princess Pants. I had hey, fun Ashley. doing it. I got the ring, girl. I've had the ring for the past, I don't know, 12, 13 years. He's a poser. I've got the ring, girl. <laughs> Thank you, Tricky Mickey. Hey, Dalton. <coughs> wow, this cough is not going away. It's like a dry cough. Yeah, no, cough. it's a dry and like you Everyone get like that. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. And then you get like that random tickle that just like puts you into a fit of coughing. And not even drinking water helps. That's happened to me like the past couple of days. Pirates eat pizza and drink pints. Speaking of pirates, you guys like my pizza pirate headband? I made it today, homemade. Homemade. You know how long it took me to do it? About 35 minutes. I shoot, I didn't know. Sorry. It's all yeah. it's all good, girl. Ashley, it's okay. What happened? She's like, Jamie, give that girl a ring. I was like, he did, like 12 years ago. Yeah, we just didn't walk down the aisle. Not oh. just yet. Wow, I didn't even notice I did my cucumber shake. Thank you, Annette. Do you, do you know what? My glue gun, my hot glue gun came in the mail today that Kaki ordered for me the other night. And uh, mm -hmm. this was the first, this this headband was the first one that I made with it. So it's a lot lighter. It's not like heavy and uncomfortable like the other ones I was using. Um, so I can't wait to do tomorrow's. Uh, headband. I don't know which. I don't know what colors I'm gonna go with. I don't know if I want to go with a pizza theme, or I have an idea. I have an idea. I think I'm gonna go with the color green tomorrow. Like money, honey. Do you like? Do you like that I've been getting into the making the headbands? I do, and I feel like the glue gun's definitely gonna make it better. It was tricky. X pop. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the glue gun is definitely going to make well, it better. The glue gun is going, I could get a little bit more creative and fancier and put different fonts of, of letter, letter, you know what I mean? I'm going to go pick up more fabric tomorrow. Different colors and, and letters, maybe numbers. And we're going to go from there. <laughs> well, Helen, I wish everybody was just like you. <laughs> what happened? So, you know, he's not on house arrest. He's just going with what, with the rumor. Helen, everybody doesn't get you, it. You guys created the narrative. Hey, Cortland. And, hey, Court. And Jamie's just running with it. <laughs> Jamie's just running with it. So, the narrative was created. It's a fun story. It's a fun story. And he's making the story happen. Jamie got house arrest for kidnapping a giraffe at work. Dalton, where would I keep him? Or her? Can't believe you don't dip it in ranch. I got protein ranch. Got protein ranch. Everybody's saying it's X Pac tonight, huh? All right. I'd rather you guys go back to saying, uh, who did I get last night? Um, there you go. Thank you. Who who did I get last night? I didn't get X Pac last mm, night. No, you you got somebody else, but I don't remember who it was. Hmm. Okay, that's acceptable. <laughs> Maybe if fabric. 
cricket, if you know what that machine. A fabric what? cricket for the headband. No, I don't, John. What is that? I'm I'm getting into making every. I've always liked wearing custom stuff. I like having stuff that no one else has. So the glue gun is like uh, uh, me tipping my 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 toes in the water. Hello, awesome duo. Got my forty thousand steps in this week. Our Randy again. Savage. That was it. Oh. Well, good for you. That's awesome. I like being cool, Randy Savage. Hold on, let's wait for the. Oh my God, she's pouring chocolate on her pizza. That's my favorite comment, and I'm not gonna change it. Mm -hmm. Pouring chocolate on her pizza. No, okay, Hakagi, have you ever heard of what John said? What? The a fabric cricket. Uh -oh. It's a machine that lets you customize fabric craft. Mm -mm. You know what I'm working with right now, John? I'm only working with a pair of scissors, a stapler, and now a glue gun. Okay, so Court just said a Cricut is a machine. You can make and print decals for fabric. His niece loves it. Really? Are they expensive, John? I don't know. Hello, Matt. How are you, man? Ooh, new balsamic bottle. Yeah, she picked it up. She forgot. Which one did you get? You got one that even looks like it comes in a chocolate bottle. Balsamic vinaigrette or vinegar. That's a salad dressing I have. Filippo Berrio. Oh, Filippo. My... You went to go see him? Mm-hmm. I did. Oh, no. Cortland says it. Have you ever sauteed mushrooms, balsamic? No, I have not. A little over but $200. That sounds like something I would definitely do. I'm gonna have to try that. Thank you for the suggestion. What kind of sandwich are we eating? This is pizza. I don't think it's a sandwich. I can make it into a sandwich if you want. You want me to? Pretty sure it's not a sandwich. But I feel like it might ruin, I, I mean I could. <laughs> I don't think it's a sandwich, but. Did you hear what, uh, there, a little over $200 for the cricket thing. Is that something you'd be interested in buying me? Money bags. Everybody you know, since you, I pay for everything. Everybody thinks you. Everybody thinks <laughs> that Kaki supports me anyway, so why not? Why don't <laughs> we just? I pay for everything. How about we roll with that? How about that be the next story we go with? Kaki buys me everything. I'm just a spoiled house husband that dances on the weekend. So I'm your sugar mama. You could be my sugar mama. We'll give you a fancy job. What do you want to do? Well, damn. I wish what? I had the sugar to be the sugar mama. No, 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 but no. all right. What do you want your job to be? <laughs> you could be the fancy sugar mama. That spoils me, and I just dance on the weekends. <laughs> Let's think of a good job. I don't even know. I don't even uh, know what this <laughs> I see what you think. What's it's a good really job? cool. I love what can be done with the cricket. Jackie spoils Jamie. She I'd does. I'd say really for does. Jamie, it's worth it. Yeah, it probably is worth it. Yeah, especially if I'm going to be getting into making more stuff. Um... I need She's motivation. A super famous celebrity attorney. Do you actually well, dance? Well, I can see that. I do. I do. I'm not very good. <laughs> Other things got me the gig. It's a Hello, long story. Hello, Paige. Happy holidays to you too as well. Um, someone said I need motivation. Watch my videos. I got a lot more. I got a lot. I got a lot up here. And depending on the night and the questions I get, um, I am more than happy to, you know to give my uh, my two cents <laughs> on certain things. What state do you think has the best pizza? Well, we've had pizza. Hello from Georgia, hello. First <laughs> off, John said she'd be the owner of the club you dance at, Probably. Jamie. Let's call mm -hmm. it Club Cheetah. Club Cheetah? Sure. Okay. Sounds good. So the best state that we've had pizza in, New York? New York, I've only had pizza in New York, Florida, New Jersey. The pizza I had in Jersey was like so-so. Pizza um, I had in Florida, which was Domino's, was crap. Na no, I could, I could top the nasty pizza. That pizza that we got that they didn't even know what a Sicilian oh, yeah, slice that was too. in Baltimore. But here's the thing. When you order Domino's, you would assume Domino's is the same no matter where you get it. It could be in New York. Chicago, some pasta. Georgia, Florida, freaking California. You would think Domino's would be the same. Domino's is not the same. I didn't mind it. You do, Jamie, say great things not in a great way. Thank you. 
What concert yeah. did you go to? Did you go see Chris Brown? Kaki went to go see Chris Brown with, I did, uh, with your sister. my sister <laughs> many, many moons ago. <laughs> she went into New York City to do it. I didn't think Chicago pizza could compare to New York, but I have I just had it. I'm confused now. <laughs> I'm sure Chicago's got good pizza. Um, pr they probably do have good pizza. I haven't been there. I don't know what pizza tastes like there. My brother said Chicago pizza was good. He went there. Jimmy Jam swears by it, but Jimmy Jam's also a, a guy that lives in Chicago. Happy Joe's Pizza is number one. BLT and about best. Hey, speaking of Mr. Jimmy Jam. Hello, Mr. Jimmy Jam. Yeah, that spoils, uh, Kenny hey, spoils that. Jamie choosing nonviolence when she wakes up in the morning. Only if you knew what Jamie does for her, aside from saving her from the ghetto, which I did. Uh, it's 60-40, him all day. Thank you, buddy. He's not playing about the ghetto thing either. I did. I I was Kagi's shining prince in armor. From one ghetto to another. But okay. Bullshit. I <laughs> mm, no connection? Cockadoo. I think we're good now. I'm in Scranton, PA. It was so fun. Love the balsamic vinegar on pizza. Aww. Yeah, the balsamic glaze on pizza is badass. I've been doing it for years. It's a Friday tradition for y'all. Love it. Makes me want to make a pizza myself. Every Friday, almost every Saturday. I'm, I'm giving a spoiler right now. Usually on Friday nights, I'll tell you that I'm looking at thinking about doing something different for Saturday. I have every intention on doing pizza again tomorrow night. Just a different kind. Yes, I do. He gets sprinkled by glitter and baby oil all day, working and riding that pole. Putting you with everything, wanting him. She washes their DNA evidence off of him. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> well, <start> then. <laughs> when you started running, did you walk at first? How did you start? Yeah, I walked. So with my running, <clears throat> I was, when I was fat, I started walking and then I started very lightly jogging and it was only 15 minutes a night. This is years ago. This is before I started to, to really diet. I just ate whatever khaki made me and I lost a couple pounds and this is when like the anxiety started. Um, but how I'm running now, I was... I started off on a treadmill and then I gradually started to jog and I would do like two to three miles and then four miles and then I said screw it I just started upping it and my breathing and the, my cardio got better so I just kept on testing myself but it's not something I picked up overnight that's something I've been doing for what two years now treadmills are so boring I agree I agree. Of course I got the ranch. Hello, Caroline. Oh, it's Caroline's birthday. Who farted? I think it was you. It's a button. What's so funny? I think you farted. And thank Hello God there, we can't Ruby. thank God we can't tell Anyone it. binge watching Yellowstone on Paramount. Love it. Cheryl, mm. my my mom watches it. I just started watching that. Randomly because they were watching it. I don't watch. I don't even know what it's about. I want to go back and watch it from the beginning. What is it about? I watched one episode and it had me hooked. What is it about? It's about like ranch life. Who? Like ranch life. Like people that live on a farm. Oh. I don't know the whole thing about it. I watched one episode and I was hooked. I'd rather drop it on the treadmill in my home than out on the street. But I think it's Carolyn's birthday. Is it? No. Uh, yeah, people were saying happy birthday to Caroline. I think it's her birthday. I missed that. If you said it was your birthday, I'll sing you happy birthday right now. If it's <laughs> your birthday. You gangster cowboys. Yes, pizza again. It's a weekend. Why not? Court. Keggy, what did I say to make you laugh? 
Yes, it's your birthday. All right. I'm sure I have Let something. me finish this garlic knot. Let me lube my voice with my special red juice, and then I will sing you a very special happy birthday, Caroline. Okay? Unless you don't want me to. I never force that on anybody. Never. Never force it on anybody. Protein red <laughs> sounds good. It's not bad. Protein, yeah, protein ranch is really good. Not What's lot. behind? What's behind the ranch dressing? These, oh, these are vegetables. These are um, red peppers. Or do you want to know what the ranch dressing is? Kevin looks amazing for his age. Oh, uh, Kevin Costner. Oh Thank you yeah. so much, Jamie. Oh, you are welcome. I'll do it right now, okay? I'm going to give you... Kevin Costner def definitely looks really good for his age. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. All right. Me sing Caroline Happy Birthday. <clears throat> How's the pizza? Do you like it? Yeah. Should I pop in and add my sass to the birthday like you did for Jimmy? <laughs> are, you, are you ready? <laughs> Damn. Happy. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you, Caroline, sweet Caroline, happy birthday, good happy time birthday. never felt so good. <laughs> And that, so you know, I was being facetious. Yes, Khaki, give us a sass. I'm not going to give a sass. Khaki can't always steal my thunder. I thought that was a very classy... I wasn't going to steal your thunder. No, no, not no. like you no, no, did no, no, no. for me, but it's okay. It's Jimmy, Khaki. Jimmy, go, Jimmy has his... That's different. That's, di that's different. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yay, I'm happy. I'm happy that you guys enjoyed it. Some people don't like my singing voice. They say that I think I'm a good singer. <laughs> they say, what is wrong with this dude? He's delusional. He actually thinks he sounds good. Yeah, MC Hammer told me so. Bet you guys wouldn't think that, huh? That was awesome. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Ah, thank you very much. Did I ever tell you guys that story? I bet the lady has to pass gas real soon. No, actually, no. Um, it's you probably usually him that has to pass gas, but not me. No. Um, here and on you, purpose. And you've done it on here, but not on purpose. <laughs> I've never done it on here, ever. <clears throat> Can't touch just. Do, 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 do. Detroit style pizza is the best. I like Detroit style pizza. Hello, Bob White. How are you tonight, buddy? Hello, Bob. <clears throat> I do. I, I like. Uh, there was this one restaurant that My friend, special... okay. How was yours? This one restaurant specializes in Detroit, uh, Detroit pizza, and a couple other things, and I liked it. It didn't make it made me and Kaki sick though. It made us very sick. <laughs> so we only gotten it. Like, Kaki's only gotten it once. I've gotten it a few times because it's like a. It's like a, I only had it once. It's like one of those, those um, what are those work those food not food truck. It's like the. Uh, <laughs> What's the metal box? The the lunch box on wheels? A food truck? Well, you ever a get wings truck? from like a food truck? And they got sandwiches and pizza. Oh, like the um Oh. That's they beat so cool. the horn and then they come out. Yeah, it's like a coffee truck. Yeah, it's a coffee truck. Try getting wings or seafood from a coffee truck. See how you feel. Well, that's Nine a dumb out of ten. Well, I've done it before many times, and I never learned my lesson. That's a dumb mistake. Makes it look good. Why would you do that? So Why hot. would you get seafood from a coffee truck? Seafood, hot dogs. It all depends on marketing. Hot dogs, yes, I can understand, but like they seafood? make it. They've got Unless clams. it's a food truck, not a freaking coffee truck. I don't know. What did I get? Clams from Dollar Tree one time? No, you got lobster from Dollar Tree, which I was just like, Ugh. I don't like lobster to begin with, but like. It made me sick. It made me sick. It's Detroit style, like the sauce is underneath the cheese. It's like a. Um... It's a deep dish where they. 
it's a deep dish where they press like the um, the dough like into like a deeper pan, and then they put cheese around the outside of it, and then they make the pizza like how they would. So when they bake it, it's like a it's kind of like a Sicilian, but with like baked cheese around the edge. If that makes sense. It's it's good. The place that we got was was not bad. It wasn't bad, but it did not make me feel very good the next day. No. Made me feel like crap. I feel yeah. like there was a lot of oil and stuff used. No, see, I didn't get that. That I normally don't eat, and I think that's why I didn't feel good. Hello, Iva. How are you, girl? Hello, Janine. Hello, Janine. You know, you guys want to hear a very special moment I had last night at 4.30 in the morning, which was not planned. Had no idea it was going to happen because I don't midnight snack um, the night prior to a work day. But... For some reason, I was, I got up and I was hungry. So when I get up, I always check up on the kids. And I went to go see our son, considering our stinky little daughter was Me in our bed. Me neither, Me neither, girl. And our son is up. And I'm like, what's the matter? He's like, Daddy, I can't sleep. I said, you want to come and eat some cookies with me in the cookie corner? And he, he ripped the blanket off of him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> He started eating Milano's with me, and uh, he wound up, you know, telling everybody about it today. It made me feel good. I'm happy that that made his. And then he's like, and then Daddy, I went right back to sleep. I said Lucas, there's nothing like a good cookie to put you back to sleep. It always works. It's always gonna work. Sometimes you need a cookie. Yes, there is Oreo pie left. There is a good portion of the Oreo pie left. His brother actually just had a piece earlier. He's like, please don't tell me it's all gone. I was like, no, there's a whole pie still. Because I have a whole pie that I'm delivering to my brother. You should do that once a week with him, Jamie. Well, I'm going to wake him up tonight to, do, to, to, to join me in the cookie corner. Mm -hmm. And Bob, you're right. The cookie corner is magical. You have no idea. Once I put a video out showing you guys the cookie corner, and I think once you see it and you see me in it, You'll understand, like, holy crap, that is one cozy little corner. And it's mine. It's it's all mine. I look forward to that damn cookie corner every single Monday. Oh, well, thank you. Who said that? My special P. place. P.S. Wizzle 22. I want to try Khaki's cookie dough. It looks so good. Oh, well, thank you. I, I don't want to, like, brag, but, like, I feel like my cookie, my cookies are really damn good. Hello, I'm Maria. working on trying to figure out how I'm going to market them and how I'm going Between to sell them. Between father and son, he will most likely remember this for a long time. He was very happy with it. Now, usually my daughter is the one that every night gets up and looks in the cookie corner to see what kind of special treats are there because they know. <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> they know that they always have something in there, but they don't ever. My son doesn't ever get up to to go to go in there. Well, did you see the note Isabella left you today? Why didn't you leave me a snack, Daddy? I, you should have told her. She wrote it on the paper, I and she left it for you when I was cleaning up the room. How did she She know? left a note right. on the Milano paper. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. I should wake her up tonight, then. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> Daddy, why didn't you leave me a snack? <laughs> what did you tell her? She didn't tell me. I saw the note when I came home from work. Oh, that's all I was say. I didn't read it. She left the note on the Milano paper written in, like, I guess, Sharpie. Yeah, she's always drawing in my cookie corner. <laughs> she left the note in the corner. And I saw it. I was like, I'm not going to throw that out because that's writing. Like, she's going to want you to see that. <laughs> but I couldn't really say, I couldn't really, like, read what it said. Because, yeah. honestly, like, she doesn't really throw... know how to spell. <laughs> so, like... I, didn't, I didn't throw it out. I just moved it over. You gotta wake her up tonight? I asked her what it said, and she's like, Daddy, why don't you leave me a snack? Love, Isabella. <laughs> she's, I was like, aww. She's such a little chunky monkey. I'll do it tonight. I'll do it tonight. She was pissed off at me late on, on Thanksgiving morning because I ate all those cookie cupcakes. Mm hmm. She was mad you didn't leave her one. <laughs> I did leave her. And our son one. But they didn't get up to do it. Just because they don't get up at a certain time means they don't get their snack? Yeah. 
that means they're up for grabs. And if a, if a cookie monster gets up and is hungry and there's two cookie cupcakes left and they're not where they're supposed to be, I'm gonna eat them. <clears throat> I have had the magical feeling yet. I usually have to lock myself in the bathroom. Snooze, you lose. That's what I always say. What are you talking about, Cortland? Magical feeling of what, a cookie corner? Hold on. I'm about to find out. Oh, Cortland? Because there was something I haven't said. <laughs> oh. My bed is magical when my man ain't home. <laughs> Well, let me tell you this, guys, and I want to keep this as PG as possible. <laughs> but me and Kaki might not be sleeping in our own bed tomorrow night, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. He might go somewhere I can't fancy, wink. fancy. What? No, I, I tried to wink. I'm like, I can't wink. I just look like I'm, <laughs> like I'm special. I don't know. I can't wink. Thanks for the idea, Kaki. Cookies. That was my idea, Bob. Did you tell Bob to put a brownie in it? No. Oh. Well, Bob put a brownie I in it. I made a cookie with cupcakes. Oh, maybe I did say brownie. I might have last night said a brownie. Ashley, can you I see it? I have done brownies inside cookies before, but not on here. Can you see? I made the... I, this and is... Bob, if it came, came out delicious, you're welcome. And if I said... I'm to get the um, hair. I don't want hair I in my have. pizza. But I, I made this today, Ashley. First bandana I made with the, with the new glue gun that came in the mail from Amazon. First attempt, and you know what? My bandanas are only going to get cooler and better. Burned myself twice, but the hot glue wasn't that hot. <laughs> Poor. Can't you just blink twice if you're being held captive? That's my wink when my man is around. <laughs> Cortland's got a wink. <laughs> Cortland's got a. Uh... Mm. Yeah, I think he did a good job on the banana. Once he got the hang of the gun. Yeah, I think so. Hi mm. from California. Hello from New York. You caught that or not? I gotta pee. <laughs> These shakes go right through me. It makes me gotta makes me pee so freaking bad, right away. All right, can you hold it down, Cap? Yeah, of course. I'm going to take a big bite so I'm at least chewing on the way. I have a twitch problem. That doesn't stop. <laughs> well then. Be right back. No duct tape. <laughs> no duct tape. No. No duct tape. Well, hello from California. Hello, Queen. How are you? Hello, Walter. How are you, man? How's it going? Do you have your Christmas decor up yet? Excuse me. Yes, we have most of it up. We have the outside decorated. Some of the inside, our tree still has to go up. We don't have that up yet. We're waiting on doing the tree. I think the tree's gonna get done tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna get done either tomorrow or like over the weekend. <sighs> Kaki, do you guys, oh, that's the one you just read. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we've had our outside Christmas decoration up before, like way before Thanksgiving. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Kaki, this is mine. I've had my eyes on that one. This is... Okay. Look, look how good this one looks. That one. That's the, that's the sweet spot right there. You know that pizza guy that I, uh, I'm always talking about? Dave Point, Pointier or something? Kaki? He does the pizza reviews. I just told you about the hoodie that goes on sale. That guy that does the pizza reviews. Oh, bar yeah, stool, yeah, the barstool guy. He always says, all right, you guys know the rule, one bite. But he never takes one bite. It's he never takes, one bite. He takes yeah, one. Yeah, that's he, annoying. I'm going to bite this next slice like he bites it. He makes eating Dave Portnoy. I knew it was something with a P. Do you, got, do you go traditional or do you like very cool color lights and stuff? 
Jamie and I have very different views on Christmas trees. Very different views. He's colored lights. <coughs> big, bro big, yeah, big colored lights. He's, he's colored lights. I am white lights all the way with a whole bunch of different colored ornaments and all that stuff. But I like a colored tree. I do not like a colored Big tree. lights, fake snow. Oh, I like the fake snow. Only homemade ornaments. None of those box ornaments that you get five silver stars, five gold stars, two blue stars, and maybe a reindeer. Homemade and a ornaments. And a pear tree. Homemade ornaments all the way. So, you know, what's your tree what, topper? That's where we differ. What is your tree stop? What's your tree topper? An angel. An angel? Mm hmm. Mine too. How do we, where, where is where we, you said we were different? I like, you know, the store bought like ornaments, like the really sparkly ones. Yeah, no. But then you have those on there, and then you have like the homemade ones that your kids make in school. Yeah, all homemade. Over the years, and then you add that to your tree. No, and all, yes. All, all homemade. I don't no. like this. Not all homemade. Mm -mm. Not for me. <clears throat> Not all homemade. <coughs> White lights are classic. You too? They're the best. Thank you, P.S. Wizzle. I think so too. I am a huge fan of white lights. I, ever... I grew up with colored lights and I did not like them. We never did white lights. <coughs> I grew up with colored lights. We never did white lights though. Uh, ornaments are the best. Always the heartwarming ones makes decorating the trees special. Yeah. I was like... fortunate enough to get my grandmother's old ornaments. Pretty amazing quality. Very nice. Yeah. See, I do have a lot of my childhood ornaments. And then I do have, like, obviously, our children's, like, first Christmas ornaments and things like that. But, like, I do enjoy putting, like, the ornaments that they've made over the years in school. <coughs> like, on the tree. Along with the other ones. Like, I don't want all homemade. I want our tree to <coughs> reflect. Us. <coughs> Reflect us and our kids and like how they've made these ornaments over the years. Like I don't want like oh everything's homemade on the tree. Everything. From them though. And us. Oh yes. As a family, what are you thinking about thing I talking about? <coughs> what ornaments have we ever made? <coughs> I'm choking on something, Jesus Christ. <coughs> we had the kids' ornaments. I made Ornaments when I was little. Oh yeah, I don't have any of mine. That's from what when I'm I was talking made. about. I don't have any of mine. Um, uh, unfortunately, mine was run out. But Jamie, do you have room in your cookie corner to put up a small tree? I do. I do. I'm going to. Well, then you better keep that shit clean. I've been pretty good. <laughs> no. I've been pretty damn good. Once my fabrics get off the floor, we're good. Once we learn how to put our clothes in the hamper, then we'll be good. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mix between homemade and mm -hmm. store bought for a net. Same here. When you say I do, I do. I have, I have what? a lot of, I have, a, I have like three or four things in the cookie corner that there's no need for it to be there. Two boxes are lights. Which aren't even open yet. No need for that. There were so, Halloween lights too. No. There are these. There are the uh, these lights. The Halloween light. Those other lights are over there. I have in. Um, those are backup lights for the table. See, when I buy lights, I always buy backup because I usually buy seasonal lights. You buy whatever. Yeah. What? Yeah, and then I, I go from there. So I always buy a couple pairs of backups. In case something happens to them, something blows or whatever. Uh, so if I take those boxes out, <laughs> I could do I could do a tree, a small tree. Khaki's giving me Carrie Heffernan. Yeah, you know what? That's not the first time I've heard that, Leo. I'm not offended by that. I'm really not. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That's I a am, sweet spot. I am Carrie Heffernan. That was the Heffernan. best one. When I am Carrie Heffernan. If I get a tree for this weekend's Cookie Corner escapades, I will post a video for it. What do you think about that? Something you want to see? 
Is that something you'd be interested in? Well, we learned to use the hamper. You're right. And then Walter said, Jamie's tree, headbands, bandanas, wrestling mem memorabilia, and ropes. <laughs> I will decorate a very nice, small, classy tree. And we'll keep it lit up for when it's time to go to bed. Because we already have... We already have Christmas lights, technically. They're not well, Christmas they're lights. garden lights. They're garden party... Uh, they're classy they're garden, garden ball lights. They're, they look like they're made out of um, sewing material. Aquaman and, and his, his girl, girl vibes. vibes. <laughs> uh, wow. It's very cozy. We don't go to sleep in pitch black. No. Although I could. I could go to sleep in like the complete black darkness. But there was a time in my life where I couldn't, but... I don't know whatever happened. I don't know. I just go to sleep in the dark now. And that I actually have a big, I have a giant Cookie Monster balloon hung up on the wall. <clears throat> right underneath Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. Annette, I had bought Jamie at, at a point in time a Cookie Monster hat and Cookie Monster pajama pants that he would wear all the time. All the time. I don't know what happens in the pants. You cut them. Hmm. You cut them and then I don't know what happens to them after that. I've never seen Aquaman, Ashley. Neither have I. No, we're not movie people anymore. We used to be. I don't <clears throat> I don't know who anybody is in Aquaman. I couldn't even tell you what Aquaman the movie was about. Hey Tracy, how's the pizza? Delicious. This was the best slice I've had. Jason Momoa vibes for sure. <laughs> I've gotten him. I've gotten that. You've before. gotten him a few times. Uh huh. Not a lot. And it's usually an insult. Like, oh, Jason Momoa's let himself go. Or Jason Momoa from Wish. <laughs> Something like that. Something insulting. From Wish? Yeah. You got somebody from Wish. Who's Wish? Wish is like a website. And you buy like stuff. A porno? No. Oh. Which is like something you buy something from, but it's not the actual size or like what it's supposed to be. So it's like bootleg? Mm-hmm. Oh. There you go. <clears throat> Jason Momoa is Aquaman. I knew that. i just never seen the movie. Yeah, we haven't seen the movie. And I don't know what But I know Aquaman who he is. About. I know who the actor is and... He's not is it a from your bad favorite looking spot. dude. Yep, Tracy, it is. He's a very handsome dude. I don't see what the girls go crazy about Jason Momoa. You kind of look like him. <laughs> well, I don't see what the girls go crazy about. He's not my kind of man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. More of a Jake Gyllenhaal kind of guy, you know what I mean? Uh, not well, thank God Pete wasn't here for that comment. <laughs> Pete? Go <laughs> sit on a screwdriver and freaking... Spin around. <laughs> Thor? Thor is hot on the Aquaman. Mm. I don't know. Ah, uh, thank you, Tracy. I don't know about that. Sarah, Sarah, good evening. <clears throat> Jake is Brokeback Mountain, yes. But I like Jake Gyllenhaal myself. Jamie, we can share. I think share. he's hot. Jake, I got, are you, you're a Jake guy? I'm just saying that's more of my cup of tea. Not Aquaman. More of a Jake Gyllenhaal from... Jamie, we can share Jake, I guess. I like Jake, too. Older, older, more mature Jake. Let's be clear. You guys are too cute together. Oh, well, thank you very oh, much, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah, Sarah. Appreciate that, girl. I did not want to watch... Um, that one movie he did. And I wound up getting it on, uh, on the internet for free. I don't remember what it was called, but I was going through a streaming movies theme. And it was something with, like, he plays a TMZ, um, a, a paparazzi guy. Very creepy. Who, Jake Gyllenhaal? Yeah. And then that was the movie that got me hooked on him. I'm like, well, he did a very good job on it. Then I saw Fighter. I think it was Fighter. Um, no. Fighter? No. Are you Jarhead? Uh, no. I've never seen Jarhead. He's in Jarhead. I know. I never seen it. Uh, what is that fight? But that he he plays a boxer. 
I'm a motherfucking beast. Well, hello, Chris. Welcome. Tarzan and Jane, Jason Momoa. Yes, like Jamie, you look like him. A pizza balsamic. I'm so sorry to make you crave that at this hour. I'm so sorry, girl. Probably made a headband with it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me a second. I'll think of I'll think of the movie because now it's pissing me off. It was one of my favorite movies that I saw of him. Disputed. Anyway, he's a boxer, and he gets into some trouble after his wife oh. is shot. Um. And then he gets his daughter taken away because he, he like becomes like a bad alcoholic and tries to kill himself. I feel like I've seen this. Yeah, I think you did too. The girl from The Notebook is in it. She dies. Allie? Yes. <coughs> I feel like I've seen that movie, but I can't remember the name of it. <coughs> Sorry, Pole? Or Horny Pole? Sorry, Pole? <laughs> South Pole! Thank you! Oh, yes. South Pole. Yeah, we did watch that movie. Amazing movie. Very, very good movie. Oh, you'd like that, Annette. South Pole. South Pole, that's what I meant. I'm reading Pole. South Pole is very good. Very good. Forrest Whitaker's in it. My, my bad, I spelled it wrong. No problem. I just It was on the tip of my tongue. I've seen that movie so many times. <clears throat> that was good. The other Jake Gyllenhaal movie was good too. Yeah, Annette. Nightcrawler. Definitely watch that movie. And I actually like Jake Gyllenhaal and Love and Other Drug. Red Notice. Know. Nope, not yet. I don't know if anybody else saw that movie. Love and Other Drugs with Hit Hathaway. That was another good movie. Hey, was Jake... Uh, Tracy said, did we ever see that one where he plays a detective... And investigates a girl mm. that goes missing. That's one of the movies you would have got. Zodiac Killer. The Zodiac Killer? That was a true story, wasn't it? That was based on a true story. I watched that movie so many freaking times because I was so obsessed with that movie. Because I wanted them to... Like, they, they had him, but, like, they didn't have the evidence. Like, yeah. they had him, but, like, they couldn't prove it. And Ryan Reynolds on Netflix, so good. Yeah, I knew Red Notice came out with Rock. Uh, what is it about? Is it is it a comedy or is it like a drama? I usually try to see every. Usually with the Rock stuff, if it, it I'll usually support him no matter what he's doing. Like the Bowlers show, I got into that, and then. A oh week, wow! Really. A week later, he came out saying it was the final season. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I didn't want to watch anymore. Yes, Wizzle, that's awesome. She said Love and, and Other Drugs was filmed at her high school. That's crazy. That's awesome. Oh, Bubble Boy too. I remember Bubble Boy. I didn't really watch it, though. I usually will watch. The last rock thing I saw, Ashley, was me and Kaki actually watched it. That has been one of the last movies we saw together, Baywatch. Mm, yeah. With uh, Zac Efron. Mm -hmm. He's another one of my cup of teas. Oh, I love Zac Efron. Zac Efron and Baywatch. I've loved him since High School Musical. Yeah, he, Zac Efron and Baywatch is, uh, well, he's a hunky piece of man candy. Ryan Reynolds and The Rock are funny together. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Oh, I'm sure they're <laughs> hilarious. And he's on End of a Watch. That's a good one, too. Same khaki, Zach. I'm the one that said Zach. Not khaki. I've liked Zach Efron ever since High School Musical. Did you? Better than Leo? Nobody's ever gonna top Leo. You're insane. Nobody's ever going to top Leo. So buff Zach from Baywatch compared to fat Leo on vacation. Which one are you picking? I'm, I'm talking Leo from no. Titanic. No, sorry. You don't get to pick which Leo that I'm comparing it to. I'm asking you a question, though. I'm going to pick Leo every single time. Because that's my childhood crush. You ever see that video where he tries to... He acts like paparazzi and he approaches Jonah Hill? No. He looks like he stinks. 
Like he's not wearing. He looks like he stinks. Yeah, like he's not wearing deodorant. He's walking up to Jonah Hill with like a cup of coffee. Red Notice is way better. Red Notice, I'm telling you guys, is way better than Baywatch. Red Notice, that's something we have to look at. Wow, Ashley said Fat Leo is better than Zac Efron all day. I'm sorry, Leo. I will never turn my back on you, man. I love you. <laughs> I well, can't, I can't. Bet you if Fat Leo was on the couch with an apple pie waiting for you to come snuggle, and then you're walking your way over to him, and then buff Derek Jeter comes in the door with a glass of wine and chocolates, you're going with Derek Jeter. Honestly? You're going to pick Fat Leo, aren't you? Good for you. I'm going to pick Fat Leo. Only because I was a fan of Leonardo DiCaprio way before I was a fan of Derek Jeter. But I don't know. That would be a hard choice. That would be a hard choice for me. Fat Leo with no deodorant? I would pick Fat Leo. Mm -hmm. Musty balls would. just resting on your head. Alright, here you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. Even if it's your musty balls. He only I'll never dates let go. ladies under 25. Who, yes. Leo? Under 25, and they have to be models. Mm -hmm. He has preference. So I will never have a shot. So no. maybe I should just go with Derek. Damn it. I'm there just going to go with Derek. Hey, wasn't he with J-Lo? So here he digs older women. <laughs> well, first of all, he's older than me. <laughs> yeah, but you're almost 40, so. Um. Yeah, and he's like it. I'm like into his 50s at this point. No, is he yeah, really? He's up there. Derek Cheetah's in his 50s? I want to say like he's like 49, 50, yeah. Where has the there. time gone? Oh my time god, flies everybody's when getting you're old. you're having fun. Yeah, no shit, people are getting old. Including you. Derek Jeter was, I want to say I was like 14, maybe 15. When I was just like, oh, Derek Jeter. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Yeah. And I want to say, like, I don't know, he was probably like 19, 20 at that time. Mmm. The Cheetos flying? <laughs> Gotta make it rain Cheetos. Cheetos went flying when he realized how old Derek Cheeto was and he was trying to call me old. Because, Kagi, everybody's getting old. <laughs> yeah, no shit. You know what's funny? I ran into an old co-worker of mine that I worked with at a previous job and then another job. Hey, be careful about thinking <laughs> 50s old. Well, compared to what well, you're not used to, used to it, I don't mean. Uh, I don't mean fifties or fifties is the new thirties. So uh, first you know of all, that. I'm not saying that's old. I'm saying it's older than what I am. But I ran into an old coworker of mine. Yeah, he's almost there. Yeah, I am. I'm approaching that 40, 40 mark, and she made me. She made me fully aware of this. <laughs> like she didn't realize like how much time had passed since we worked together, and she's like, "Well, you know." At least you're not going to be 40 soon. And I looked at her. And I was just like, girl, I'm about to be 38. She goes, oh shit, yeah, you're almost over that hill. I was like, that's messed up. Wow. Yeah, so you, that means you've got less than two years to make up your mind that you actually want to stick it out with me. Because you like, get to the 40 mark, it's going to be harder to wheel somebody just in. like, damn. You know that, right? I'm like, that's mean. You know that, right? Listen. Did you hear what I said? I heard you. I'm choosing to ignore you. Because, um, murder isn't an option at this point. I can't do time. <laughs> they don't have wine in jail, guys. Sorry. They don't. Do you work out after this meal? No. 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 Rob Lowe back in his Elmo. Say Elmo fire, fire. I would happily have given Maybe 24 my in a month. <laughs> I don't think I've seen Rob Lowe in that. Rob Lowe was very, very, very good looking yeah. back in the day. He was in Wayne's World. What? Oh, okay, Kaki is 38, but I thought she was 30. How old is Jamie, lol? In my 20s. <laughs> Tell the truth. 29. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. 29, all day. Mm. Fun fact, my sister husband is related to Derek Heaters. Jeter. Really? Do you eat like this every day? Aren't you worried about your health? 
I eat pizza on the weekends, and then every other meal you see during the week is not what you think. I mean, it is what you think, but it's made with... I'm very concerned about my health. Low fat, uh, lower calorie uh, ingredients. But, Sometimes. you know, every once in a while you have a meal that, you know... 36. Yeah, you're right, Tracy. I'm 36. You have a meal that, you know, doesn't, you know, line with your diet, but I'm sure you're the same way. Fuck so. that, I do this every weekend. That's what I just said. Every yeah. week, I'm sure you don't eat healthy every single day of the week all the time. I'm sorry. You just don't. No, but I'm at the same time, I there are weeks where I just have a crap week. I just Your make sure I, I, always, oh, I do well, always you, make Ashley. sure I get my vegetables in, though. 29 and holding for the rest of his life. <laughs> yeah, Starship. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Now there's no... If ands or buts about it, find me a night when find me a night the last time where I did not do veggies. It's every single night, including in the weekends. Pizza always sounds good. I know it's like just something you can't can't get sick of. That's why I've I've given in. You know when I'll stop eating pizza when someone tells me, "Hey, for this roll or for this, you can't eat pizza." You really can't eat anything you you really want to eat for a little bit. Mike, how much do you make from YouTube, if you don't mind me asking? I don't mind at all. Zero dollars. We make nothing. And zero cents. <laughs> we do not get paid for this. this. I will never stop eating pizza. Girl, me, neither will we. I mean, I get uh, sick of eating it. Jamie doesn't. I get sick of eating it, but I'll still eat it every once in a while <sighs> just because I don't want to have to cook. It's just like a quick fix. <clears throat> yeah, so yeah, good it, to eat salads to keep you regular and not constipating. Why do you think I eat salads? I eat salads because I like them, and it also has a benefit of that. Hmm. Kaki has a nice glass of fruit, fruit every, every day. day. Mm -hmm. I usually have a healthy serving of grape every single day. Kaki digs a bottle. Fermented grapes are delicious, and they're good for your digestive system. You know, people step on the grapes to make them, right? Um, that's an old school thing. No. They don't do that anymore. Why? No, they go through a process. I actually went to a vineyard and actually saw the process of how the grapes go like through the through the line. Mm -hmm. I did a wine tour, which was kind of cool. I enjoyed things like that. Let's see how wine is money. actually made. You're thinking of like the Isle of Lucy and Ethel where they're stepping on the grapes. I just remember seeing an old man in a commercial. <laughs> no, I remember the episode grapes and just a of I Love Lucy and Ethel where they're stepping on grapes. It's <laughs> like I guess smash them down to like make wine. Do you drink do you do you drink beer just on the weekends? I have what a couple kind? Bud Lights. Like this is my second one and look how much is in it. Maybe I didn't even get the halfway mark. Paige, my my favorite brand of wine happens to be Yellowtail, and um, Yellowtail Big Bowl Red um, happens to be my favorite. But um, Nineteen Crimes is also really good, and that's like my second favorite. And I don't get that a lot because it's kind of expensive. For like a little teeny bottle, it's like thirteen bucks. I Meanwhile, I can get like a big bottle of Big Bowl Red for like fourteen. So if I want some little splurge for the. Um, when you started losing the 19 weight, crimes. Did you have cheat days? Yes. But we would cook we were our co cheat days. Yeah. We wouldn't order out for cheat days. Tracy, when me and Kaki first started losing weight and going on a diet, we didn't take we didn't do any takeout. Yeah, no, we didn't do takeout at all. Everything that we we did was was made at home. We didn't know better though. We had no clue what we were doing the first 5, 6, 7 months. Just, we worked really hard. It would be fun to squish great. Yeah, I think it would be fun too, but like, I don't know. I don't like feet, and the fact that I'm thinking somebody's feet could have probably been in my wine is going to gross me out, just to think about that, because I don't like feet. I bet you, and I've said this before, almost positive I have, and I know Kathy knows, I don't think we oh, yeah, would have been they have, so they have two successful buck without doing this together. I was told about that. Two buck chuck. Really, it's really good too. What? 
Me and you doing this? Together? I think oh, that's yeah. why we were so successful. I think that's why we were both successful. We had each other's back. I remember there would be nights where Khaki would be like, I'm going to the gym again. I'm like, again? Why? Because I want it. Same thing with me. I remember one time I came came home from the gym, showered, got sat down, we were just like looking at like a, the laptop. And I looked at Khaki, I'm like, I think I'm going to go back to the gym. She goes, why? I'm like, I eh, just for like a half an hour. And I did, went at like 10 o'clock. You did. We I had, miss going we had the, we had our We had each other's backs. Your banter makes these lives absolute gold. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And so does Jamie. Yeah, we have a fun time doing this. This is, I mean, listen, every single night, certain night, like last night, we, me and Kaki had a tough day. Yeah, we I had still a rough day being, yesterday. It was bad. Yeah. Uh, Today was better. Aldi's grocery stores have their wines at two ninety five a bottle. See, here's the thing, Starship. In New York State. I agree, Annette. They cannot sell wine in grocery stores. Only in liquor stores. Let me try to go So, I can't even, like, try that wine. Because we, we can't get it here. No. You should know. You should just buy a case if you like it that much. Why not? I buy shit for me. You buy shit for me. Why don't you buy a case? Of, I would have to like why order it from the liquor line? store. So order from the liquor store. Why can't you get it online? I mean, I probably could, but it's probably gonna take a while. But at least you know you have it. Y'all should make some kind of profit. For sharing your time. Yeah, we don't get paid for this. This is yeah, just me and Kaki doing this for fun. <laughs> this is just for fun. This is what we do. <clears throat> and we share um, our time with you guys. So. I stopped going to family holiday get togethers because everyone is. Everyone tried to parent my children or tell me how to. So you stayed home. Good for you. Listen, I totally am. I can totally relate to that one. We both can, <laughs> would, can, can relate to that. I will give you a little inside scoop, though. And hold on, Mike. Yes, we drink yes, coffee we in the morning. Yes, we both drink coffee. In the... Actually, I really don't drink coffee anymore. Like, every once in a while, I have coffee. <clears throat> I do. I drink it black with an ice cube. I don't really drink coffee anymore. Um, my mom. My mom parents the shit out of my kids. But she's been around them their whole lives. Like, since day one. So, we don't ever have a problem with that it's when we're trying to do it and head start to butt yeah it got old real quick for you Tracy I'm not gonna comment yes um Ashley I drink red red wine red wine for me dry red wine did you see a bad comment no oh did I do something no oh okay so you look on, on the... On I said the... I'm not even going to comment on that. <laughs> I'm just oh. not going to say anything. Okay. All right. I feel like the mood just changed. All right. We could just go on to something else. <laughs> uh, because you said the thing about like, your mom's parents. Like, yeah, it tries to parent the kids, but like, that's not her job. That's our job. Yeah, no, I know. I didn't want to get... I didn't want to stay on the subject. That's why I was just like... Okay. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, Tracy. What are you sorry for? Don't be sorry. Bringing it up? No. no. Listen, me and I can talk about this stuff all we day. We talk about it all the time. Every day. We talk about it all the time. Jamie, Cheetos or kettle chips? Che oh, I have, I bought salt and, uh, salt and vinegar chips. This is great. Okay, so Starship. I like Merlot. Uh, Merlot is like one of my favorites. I like Cabernet. And then I also like Shiraz. And then... Um, Yellowtail pulls, puts out Big Bold Red. Red button moment. Which happens to be my absolute favorite. But then there, there's also a Shiraz, Shiraz Cabernet blend that I'm gonna go go. Um, Yellowtail puts out as well. And I can't find that at many, many liquor stores. And the liquor store that I frequent, 
said that they would order it. Um, it hasn't come in yet. It's been a while. So I don't know when they're going to get it. So I'm about to just go to the liquor store I know that has it until they get it in. I don't know. I bought them. I could either open them now or save them for tomorrow's pizza party. Now, if you guys are in here and you plan on joining me and Kaki for dinner tomorrow, let's all do pizza together. We'll be eating around 1 o'clock in the morning, right? So we'll be eating... Oh my God, it's 1.34 already. We'll be eating Holy around crap. this time tomorrow night. This time right now. I have to right go now. to bed. I have to go night night. Want to get to bed? Yeah, I have to be at work tomorrow. Let's have a pizza party <laughs> together tomorrow night. Capiche? You doing pizza party tomorrow night? If that's what you're doing, I might order a hero. There you go. <laughs> I might order some kind of a hero. I might get some candles and put it on, put it on the pizza for me. Did Gacky buy them? <laughs> I bought them. <laughs> Who's that, Cortland? No. No. It was P.S. Whistle. <laughs> no, I did not buy those. Jamie bought them. <laughs> You're in for the pizza party? <laughs> Alright, so let's do that. Let's do a pizza party tomorrow. Tomorrow night. At this time, around 1.30. Touche. Touche. That was a good <clears throat> comment. I like that one. <laughs> that was good. I'm having pizza tonight, too. Much love, guys. Thank you, SPS. Thank you. Alright. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Have a good night's sleep. And have You're a good day a tomorrow. Sugar mama. Well, thank you, Chicken Mickey. I'm getting pizza. <laughs> it is. All right. Good night, My guys. My sugar's running out, guys. Have a good night.